Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. I am Lisa and I am completely ready to remove my makeup for my nighttime skincare routine. But today I am sharing my uh, lip care routine for every night and I have some lip products that I want to review for you guys as well. So let's get started. So I will start with removing this lipstick that I am wearing right now is from Maybelline. I will just take uh, some cotton pads and my favorite makeup remover that is Bioderma Sebium H2O Micellar Water. I started using it a couple of months ago and I absolutely love this one for my skin. Actually it suits my skin perfectly. A uh, substitution for this one can be Garnier Micellar Water but it does not suit my skin so I don't use it. If Garnier Micellar Water suits your skin you can definitely go for it. Just look how easily it removed my lipstick, the entire lipstick and this one that I am wearing, I was wearing was from Maybelline. It was a very thick uh, lipstick actually, thick, thick and uh, creamy lipstick and it removed it uh, so easily guys. I highly recommended this one and I just love it. The next step is uh, exfoliation guys and currently I am using Just Herbs Lip Scrub in the flavor Mint. I purchased this one from Smitten and this is actually a trial size one. The regular size is retailing for 395 rupees so a little bit pricey uh, for what it is and there are so many lip scrubs available in the market right now that you can try definitely that are much uh, less priced than this one. This scrub however guys from Just Herbs is really good. It is not too harsh on my lips and uh, it uh, has that exfoliating bits that are not too large. They are very tiny uh, uh, exfoliating bits and they feel so soft and gentle on my lips. Also it is quite uh, hydrating actually. It removes dead skin and dry skin from my lips. It is very important uh, to remove those uh, dry skins from your lip that actually helps make your lip feel very soft and supple. If your lips look dark or you have dark spots on your lip then regularly scrubbing your lip or exfoliating your lip is very helpful actually. So next I will just remove the leftover product from my lips. Um, just clean my lips with the same cotton pad that I used to remove my lipstick. You need to make sure that you, all the lip scrub that you have used uh, is removed from, from your lips. It is actually very irritating to feel those um, tiny little bits every time you move your lip. But you can see how soft it has made my lips look and my lip actually looks very hydrated. Before applying a lip balm to my lips, I just make sure there's no scrub left on my lip. So I just uh, take another clean cotton pad and a little bit of the micellar water to clean my lips thoroughly. Of course you can just go and wash your lips with water, that's totally fine. Now the next step is very important guys, It uh, I apply a thick layer of any lip balm or lip mask before going to bed. Uh, this one is from Just Herbs and this is in the flavor Rose and this one is actually again a trial size that I have purchased from Smitten. Now this one is actually very effective lip mask guys, uh, provides a very deep hydrated feel to my lips. It does not bleed out towards the corner or lining of your lips like many other lip balm that I have used. It's very thick uh, lip mask and stays on the lip the entire night. But the problem with this is it has a like an after test to it like a sweet artificial after test it feels very oily and uh, as soon as you put it it has that weird tingling sensation and it has got a very strong smell now that's all for my nighttime lip care routine guys i use a lip balm in the daytime anytime my lip uh, feels dry or like um, you know i need to have lip balm so i have this lip balm that i use in the in my daytime it is from nika and this is not actually that great to be honest uh, you can buy any other lip balm instead of this now while i was buying just her products i came across this lip and chick tint this is in the shade uh, 06 pink forever and this is retailing for rupees 695 on nika to be honest i feel like it is 
extremely overpriced and you can uh, get better lip and cheek tint at a lower price guys. Uh, but um, it is very uh, drying actually uh, however it is extremely pigmented if you want to use it on your lips make sure you have hydrated your lips quite well because it uh, is very drying and it will look very patchy on your lips if you have not hydrated your lips nicely but it does look very uh, pigmented and uh, uh, stays decently on lips i mean yeah you don't absolutely need to have it but it's okay to try it once in a while i have not tried it on my cheeks yet so let's try it on my cheeks so yeah it uh, don't really i don't really wear a very pigmented blush on my cheeks i wear very light peachy blush so this shade i really don't like on my face if you are not wearing any foundation then this may look pretty and natural but with foundation on this is so drying on my skin guys it is kind of dragging my foundation around so it's a very hard pass from me guys uh, it's extremely overpriced and overhyped and it feels so dry i mean it is really very dry but if you want to try it i mean you want to try this kind of stuff you can go for it but there are really other uh, uh, tints that you can buy at a lower price and also it transfers so it is not transfer proof but it looks pretty on my lips so that's all for today guys as far as lip care goes i hope you enjoyed it i will catch you all next week until then take care bye bye